It's time to look at some stair tread insulation. Large format basalt stair treads, about four feet long, seven inches tall, by about 20 inch depth, and we're gonna install them the old fashioned way, with an excavator and a strap. Yeah, we're gonna use a dry pack, Navi Jack and Type 10 mix for our base, really well compacted. And there's Rick with Integral Design laying out our exact corner location. And we have a string line set up to make sure that we're parallel. All the heights have been laid out on this storyboard or a grade stake that we use to have a reference point for each step to be landed to. And the first one's nice and easy. We're just plunking it down to the right height, make sure we have slope away. And we're gonna stake it at the front to make sure it's not gonna move. And the second step, we need to make sure that our base prep is really dialed in. So I'm going to spend a lot of time screening it with the level after it's been well compacted to make sure it's just sitting a touch high. So when we set the piece down, it's going to sink in and we can tap it down a little bit if necessary. And this next one is actually going to overlap the front edge about two inches onto the piece below. So we need to make sure that's nice and clean. Got a board set up ready to plunk it down so that we can remove our strap pick up the piece, take the board out, and do our fine tuning from there. So we slung the piece so that it's weighted nicely and balanced. I'm setting up a piece of dunnage to set it down on because we need to get that strap out after. And we're just gonna gently get it down really close to where we want it. And I have a marker set on where the leading edge corner needs to be as a reference point. And we're gonna set it down nice and gently and I'm going to take the strap out, just give it a little lift, take out the dunnage, and we can fine tune it from there. And now we're gonna make sure that we have a sleeve through for irrigation and lighting. You'll see that right there, the red tape on the end to make sure it stays nice and clean. And we're referencing everything back once again to that storyboard. So that board setup that has all of our finished heights, making sure that we have the right amount of slope, about 3 8 slope on each tread, downhill, so that water's gonna shed off. It's that forethought and the accuracy of this insulation that is gonna translate to a really nice clean finished result. And here's a couple pictures of our rock walls up to the steps, and a really nice clean natural finished look. Till next time.